one in the screen. Why do we do like a selfie? Come here. You can sell by all the motorbikes right here. So this is known to be the local spot for teenagers. To yeah, come yeah, and because it's like a drink mini market, and, like chic market, yeah, really cool cheap. stuff. So let's go inside and see what they have. I mean, we definitely picked the night to come here, being Friday night. But wow, there's a lot of people here, and it is huge. First impressions walking in, you know, you have security right at the entrance, which is unlike most markets. But then you also have like the lines to get in and it kind of makes you feel like you're at a carnival. I just talked with Trina about like where the restaurant is like really far, like at the back. At yeah, the back the of the, side of the, the opposite side of the entrance, yeah. We speak about, okay, we're gonna wait until we go to the restaurant and eat, but there's so many food stands along the way. I think it's gonna take us about three hours to get to the back, to the opposite side of the market. Yeah, this market is to huge. The restaurant but area. What you notice when you first get in is there's price tags. Like Tao was saying, there's price tags on everything. So yeah. you don't really have to worry about uh, not knowing the price and them changing the price for no, no, yeah, yeah, no. corners. Everything has a price really tag fair. on here. This right. is the Hi, store. Did for... you find something for us? Yeah, exactly. Look at this store. Is it because Pierre is wearing a floral t-shirt? Full of floral wipe things. Look! Really, this, is, this is how Todd thinks that Pierre dresses. I don't know if this is a good thing or a bad thing. <laughs> it's a good thing. Hey, Pierre, it's tropical white. This. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to become a hipster. <laughs> It's I a hard job, guys. <laughs> it was a, I, it's tend, a hard job. I tend to. <laughs> I tend to. Here, they're like, we can go there, we can go there, we can go there. And there, they are like six different sections in here. It says, we are hungry, so let's go that way. More hipster now. <laughs> Approved! <laughs> How about this, Jimmy? While the quality here on even the sunglasses as we try them on, the quality here is very, very good. Like my dad's sunglasses, like the $200 fossil sunglasses, the sunglasses feel just as heavy and high quality as they would. Um, but they're about 250 baht. So, you know, it's on the higher end, but you get a lot better quality. Sunglasses are like 250, like the first place we saw. Yeah. 
some of them are a hundred and Todd got a new pair of sunglasses for a hundred baht. So I mean, even if you don't like the price of one vendor, you can just kind of continue on and see if you can find another vendor that sells them for a cheaper price. That way you both win. And you're like, oh. I never thought I'd walk Exactly what I'm talking about. It's where if you don't like one one vendor's price, you just keep walking. Because we thought we had a great price for buying a pair of sunglasses for a hundred baht. And then you walk farther. Guys, no sunglasses that I like. For one hundred. So now we're on our way to the food section. We just got here and then every place has like live music. So it's really cool. You can walk around and you can sit down, grab a couple of drinks, grab something to eat, and enjoy live music. So here, as I told you guys earlier, is like a good place for teenagers and hipster to come and chill. It's like there are like a lot of bar and restaurant and like live music band is so cool. Look at that. get out of here we're uh, had a good time tonight at the market it's really different it's, it's not like your average market that you have in Thailand it's really really packed with a lot of younger kids a lot of younger people and uh, it's really cheap but they also like we said have the price tags and everything so you don't have to worry about anything but um, that's all we have for today thanks for watching guys if you like the video please leave it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to stick around for our travels. We'll be hitting Malaysia next after we go south in Thailand and then back to the Philippines we go.